One of the worst feelings in League is getting a huge lead and then throwing it away, resulting in a tragic loss. Today we're going to be talking about tempo, probably one of the most misunderstood and misinterpreted words in all of League of Legends. It's usually the biggest culprit when it comes to throwing away all of your advantages. Simply put, tempo means that you have the ability to dictate the pace of the game and control what happens. Usually this translates to being where you need to be before the enemy has any chance of stopping you. Let's analyze some parts of SKT vs Damwon Gaming and Week 2 of the LCK. In this clip, Clid already is off to a 3-0 start having a huge lead over the enemy jungler. Because of this, he's accrued a 600 gold bounty and is about to make another successful gank onto top lane. With the resulting kill, it is pretty obvious that Clid is able to determine what happens next in the game. Kha'Zix is off of a reset and Akali is dead in base. Because Dragon has already been killed, the only neutral left on the map is Rift Herald. Because of this, I would recommend that Clid and Khan push the wave into tower, maybe taking one or two plates and resetting before Akali is alive and able to TP back to tower. This would mean that Khan is able to get back into lane and keep Akali pushed past River so that she can never help secure objective control. Clid would then be able to come off of his reset and run topside to place his pink in pit and start Rift Herald. Instead of greeting to try and get the maximum amount of damage on the tower and the most plates, this early reset would allow them to maintain tempo of the game and continue to dictate what happens. However, they make a mistake. Let's look at what happens. SKT greeds and bites off more than they can chew, attempting to go for a dive on the Akali. Immediate gratification is one of the biggest baits in this game. While they could just back here and play for Rift Herald to secure even more plates than they would have been able to before, instead they go for the immediate reward of gold now. Even with the massive lead that SKT had previously, giving away a 600 gold shutdown and all your tempo on the game is no joke. Akali is now able to push past River, and Kha'Zix is able to move safely into the Rift Herald pit in order to re-secure Vision. However, Canyon makes a crucial mistake here as well. Instead of just re-securing Vision and placing his pink to control the area, he doesn't wait for his mid to come off of his reset and help him with the Rift Herald. This allows Gallia to move from mid freely and start to contest. In less than a minute, both teams have managed to throw their lead back to each other just by being impatient and not playing for tempo. Both of them are baited by an immediate reward. This game is a perfect example to demonstrate how important it is to set up your objectives correctly and maintain control and keep tempo. Let's look at later in the game when SKT gets two picks and uses their tempo correctly to set up a Baron. While they could keep pushing here for an inhibitor tower, SKT knows that doing so will lose their tempo on the game and give up Baron control as well as Dragon control. If they were to go for the last tower, they would not be able to recall until after Sivir had respawned. This would mean that Damwon could push out as 5 and group wherever they wanted to to secure control. To counteract this, SKT backs off early and goes to take the dragon. This takes off an objective from the map that Damwon could play for as soon as they recall. At the same time, Thresh goes to secure vision on the barren area. SKT channels the recalls so that they are able to be on map and on time to the Baron area before Damwon is able to come in and secure their vision. If SKT were to recall even 5-10 to 10 seconds later, they would lose all tempo and give Damwon a window to come in and move their vision forwards. Prepping for the next play is super important. To end a game, you always have to look for ways to keep getting advantages. You can't take one and allow the game to stagnate out and equalize. Make sure that your current play ends before the next play needs to begin. If you don't do this, you give the other team a window to come back. A window is essentially a short period of time where one team has tempo. When you have the lead and have tempo, make sure not to give it up. Do not overstay your welcome. It's the most important thing to take away from this whole lesson. With their superior vision control, SKT gets another couple of picks and ends up taking two of Daimwon's inhibitors. Again, they make sure to recall in time to be back on map as soon as Sivir is respawning. The pressure from the other inhibs allows them to push straight through top lane for a third. Look at their vision control here. SKT didn't overstay their welcome and never gave them a chance in order to reclaim their vision and clear these pinks. This leads to a super easy take of every neutral on the map and a really clean end. In this game, the one time Damwon had a chance to come back was the one time that Clid and Khan forgot about keeping tempo. This should highlight how important it is. Even with a huge lead, they still were able to almost throw the game. To recap on a few important points, make sure to recall before the enemy respawns if you need to control any area, such as an objective. Be there ahead of time so you don't have to walk into an unwarded area where the enemy could be. Don't ever give them a chance to come into the area and reclaim control. Once you get a lead, make sure you can keep setting yourself up to continue getting more leads. Don't overstay and give the enemy tempo back. Notice how good teams always avoid giving tempo to the enemy. This is because objectives make or break the game at the highest level of play. A single Baron can mean the difference between winning and losing. The pure threat of Baron existing means that you have to check the area. If you lose control of it, you're forced to walk into an unfavorable fight or give away the Baron for free. Don't let yourself have to make that bad decision. 
If all neutrals on the map have been taken, it's sometimes okay to greed and overstay to give up tempo, because the loss of tempo means that you're not giving up any control of an important area. This is a rare situation and assumes that you've already taken everything else off of the map. Again, the biggest thing you can take away from this is do not overstay. Take your lead and keep getting more leads. Run with it. Don't get a lead and throw it back. My name is Japanese Import and this has been a Crash Course on Tempo.